Hi and welcome to a new plugin guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. We're going to look at reverb and a special category of reverb known as shimmer verb or ethereal verb or goose pimple verb is a good one. The power of shimmer verb is that it gives the sound this really cool additional motion, usually encompassing pitch shifting. Doesn't have to. Um, but what we're going to look at are two reverbs. One, which has been around for many years, probably one of my favorite reverbs. The other one is the new kid on the block, but it's from a recognized powerhouse of DSP in our industry. Eventide has made reverb and pitch shifting type algorithms and so forth for many, many, many years, actually probably before plugins, when it was in some of their hardware devices that we used to use in recording studios. I worked on an album where the guy that came in and mastered brought his own Eventide. I can't remember the model number of it, but you know, all these places where he would just crank the knob and have this little octave thing show up. Um, and people loved it. And, you know, to me, it's a cheap trick to a certain extent but it can be really useful in context and nothing else can do it. So it's one of those things you need to have. Now, the question is, let's take the veal off. Does the shimmer verb from Eventide, how does it match up with the existing champion on the block of Valhalla Shimmer? And so I'm going to show you both solo and in context. I have a little jam I've put together. I'm going to be using just a sawtooth waveform. This is as simple as you can get, right? Can you make that sound euphoric? Can you make it goose pimply and magical? And um, you tell me. I've set up, I'm using Unify. I'll show you how I have this set up really quick. I have just Guru Sampler playing a stock sawtooth waveform from its little sampler. We'll change it to the sine wave in a minute. I have random set for the starts. And then what I have is I have, we have knobs inside of Unify. And one cool thing with Unify's knobs is that they can control as many parameters as you want to all of the plugins you currently have loaded into Unify. Uh, for example, I have Obsession on Instrument 3 and I have Hive on instrument two. If I wanted to, even with all these going on to change, I'm changing the master output. I'm changing all of these parameters in real time. See over here on shimmer, I could still go to here. I could go to any other layer. Here's all the parameters for hive. I could add all of these to be changed in real time from one setting to another. And I could change all the settings on layer three obsession. I could change all of these to be doing whatever I wanted at once. It's super crazy powerful. I also have at the master output stage, as you can see right here in Unify Pump House, this is our own really cool effect. And so it also is being controlled. It's there as one of our tools. So we're changing this as well as all the, uh, the parameters inside of Shimmer. So we can create all sorts of cool things. just from the sawtooth waveform. So this is Valhalla. It is a truly beautiful, and this is the definition of the euphoric.
right? Now let's compare this to the new kid on the block. Now you've probably seen in social media and so forth, they're, they've got a big blitz going because they're selling it super cheap. Uh, Eventide's effects, like I have Black Hole, that's a $200 reverb. I don't know what the retail of Shimmerverb will be in the end, but right now you can buy it for $39. How does it compare? How does it match up? Let's find out. Because of the way that they're doing their pitch shifters, they're not feeding back into causing it to do the bloom that you hear from Bahala Shimmer, so it's different. It's simpler, a little more pure. But it's still making this from a sawtooth waveform. Now, whether whether the Eventide is your taste on Euphoric Reverb or the Valhalla Shimmer is, that's up to you to decide. So I'll pop on the screen the web pages so that you can see where to go to download demos for both of these. So Valhalla Shimmer is a $50 reverb. Shimmer Verb right now is $39 and I don't know when the sale price is over what the retail will be. My guess is it will be probably at least $99, maybe more. It's just a guess, just based on my knowledge of Eventide and the prices that they place on their plugins, it will be more of a premium price plugin. But download the demos, try them out to, to, to find out for yourself. I want to show you real quickly. They both can do these kind of cool. Let's do this. Let's go to even tied first. Um, now we're going to set this to be more of. Let's set this to be like a quarter notes. Their feedback is a little funky in that after you get to a feedback of 100 or 100 percent, um, right next to it, because of pitch kill, <laughs> kills pitch shifting. And then next to that is freeze. So if you have this at 100%, hit the freeze button here to freeze and keep the pitch. I've had times where I would be playing and I hit and I get kill and then I freeze and you don't have the pitch. It's me, it's a little weird that in order to get from here to the freeze, you go through pitch kill. I would think you'd have pitch kill down here at zero or something like that, but they don't. Um, just be aware. Actually, pitch kill should be like at the bottom of each one of these, if you ask me. It, it doesn't make sense that they have it there at all, but it's there. So if you want to go from 100%, And then you want to freeze this, hit the freeze right here. Don't go through the pitch kill or else you will lose that. Also be aware, they have this thing called the ribbon, which is kind of like what we're doing with our real-time controllers in Unify, but it's only for Shimmer Verb, whereas in Unify, I'm controlling mix sliders of the mixer inside Unify and other effects at the same time. What you do is you click in each of these boxes. And one box is, this is the white box. And so wherever you set this is where it's gonna start. Go over here, click this box. This is the blue, see the little blue dots? So you can say where you want the blue dots to be and you can hear it. And now you can segue between these just by. Right? And I think you can use this to go back and forth between different two different settings. I think you hold this down to program. Yeah, and now you can set this to another set of parameters. 
And now you can go between normal and that other set of parameters. So they have a couple different ways to work with the interface, which is cool. Um, but again, listen to the reverb, choose what you think. I'm going to go over to uh, Unify and let's change this to be a sine wave, which is a whole different character. You get a whole different vibe when you're working with the sounds. get more pure. You'll notice that there's some interesting gliding of pitch, which I thought was kind of cool in the shimmer verb. Even down here, if you go like this, and then you have this set to different settings for octaves. You hear it sliding around and stuff, which is kind of cool. So it has a whole different vibe to it than what you get with the Valhalla, which is a... Another thing that's great in your tracks is to use radical pitch bin on these so you can... Cool effect. Right? Um, on top of this, another thing I wanted to point out that's really cool, we kind of have a bit of DNA from Valhalla inside of Unify. Sean Costello, who is the main developer at Valhalla, which started Valhalla 20 years ago. Before that, he worked on some of the algorithms found in C-Sound, which is a really cool, groundbreaking sound development environment. Um, he did a reverb, it's called, I think, Reverb CS or something like that. And we actually uh, studied those papers and then put uh, a, that type of reverb, we call it water verb, but. Here's without water verb. I mean. That's a better reverb to me than what's inside of Eventide's reverb personally. And it's part of Unify. It's one of 10 reverbs inside of Unify. You go here to reverb. We have convolution reverb with Clang Falter and all sorts of other stuff. So we love the Valhalla sound. Their reverbs are top of class. Um, and Shimmer Verb is is my what I like I said it's one of my favorites so let me show you a couple really cool things just so you understand how this works I'll show you both in shimmer verb and Valhalla shimmer how they work let's start with Valhalla shimmer first so you have mix down here is the pitch mode you can set it to bypass so it's just reverb it still has modulation in the reverb Then you have single, which if you set this to an octave, and the amount of feedback recursive for the octave growing is from the feedback control. And then size and diffusion. Diffusion is kind of like the intensity of the reverb and size is actually of the delay. So. So there's this repeated like womp, womp, womp. You can feel it. If you slow this down. You get this really cool recursive thing happening. And so you combine that with the modulation depth and you have. You also have a color mode to be dark and it puts this hot, basically a low pass filter 
caps the frequencies so that that's actually maybe a little bit more appropriate for like a sine wave or something. Now, if that's not big enough, go to dual mode. And this is where it gives you a shifting in the positive and in the negative at the same time. So now we have plus 12 and minus 12 on each note. Bring up the fusion. If you want the, the feedback to hit sooner, bring up size to be smaller. And one thing I love with this is when you set this to 100%, and let's say we have the feedback like this and the size like this, it's a really cool pad, even though it's just a fast sine wave. And in a case like this, you might want to bring up the low cut. Now let's try it with bright mode and check out the difference. Hear all that extra high end? So, you also have the ability to have it just be mono if you want to have the imp the re keeps the reverb more tame. They have small, medium, big. I like big, of course, because that's that's just got this really cool depth, and really wide, all that kind of stuff. Okay, now compare that to shimmer verb. Now, whereas this has a shift that's continual between zero and max, this they've actually kind of like picked out like the there's just normal detune at zero and you got plus or minus 30 cents. And then it jumps actually, to 500 for the um, plus five, then plus seven is right here, and then octaves. So you don't have plus eight, plus nine, plus 10, or plus 11. So if you wanted to have it do like um, an 11th semitone recursive, you can't do it. Um, and then from 12, you get to 19, which is an octave and a fifth, and then 24, which is two octaves. So you have more limited choices for the shifting but in this case, it actually works because it is a sh pitch shifter. It's not going to recursively go back growing into the reverb like Valhalla does. So it's a different vibe. Here's your EQ controls. Right? But it never gets to that really wide, you know, kind of long haired, crazy. So they're different. Which you prefer. If you want both, go for it. They're not going to break the bank. But if you're just going to get one, for me personally, Valhalla Shimmer still is king of the two. I mean, that vibe is just... But again, there are demos of both. You can download, try them out, experiment, 
use real-time controls to see how flexible these are. Try it on different sounds. Like if we go to Guru Sampler and we said instead of the sine wave, let's say big eight voice unison. This is from my clouds modular synth. So it's much brighter. And then if I was to actually put an envelope more like a pad where it's slow attack, slow release. You know? So I use just, you know, I use the Hala Shimmer for a lot of the Mega Magic libraries that I've created of samples with really cool reverb in them. Because I was making them for Omnisphere, which lets you only use one sample across the keyboard, the concept was to put tons of reverb that had a nice long tail. So even if you played up high, it wouldn't just go and fade out, right? So Valhalla Shimmer is near and dear to my heart. But there you have it. Eventide and Valhalla Shimmer. Oh, one more thing. There's actually a synthesizer now that has the whole Shimmer verb built into it as well. And that's from Synapse Audio Obsession. This is a kind of an emulation of um, your Oberheim kind of a vibe. So it's nice and bright and... Let's see if we can bring the But if you go over here and you bring up the reverb. Let's go over here and give ourselves nice slow envelopes and releases. It's still not the same as turning off that reverb, bringing up Vala, Valhalla. I mean. It's a great, great sound. You're not going to get that from here. It's nice. It's just not the same. But it is a reverb with shimmer showing up inside of synthesizer plugins. So that's cool in its own way. So I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to take you out by playing this track I told you about. This is using sounds from Cloud City. There's a guitar part that's really interesting. Check this out. It's using, um, I'll show you over here. It's using an Omnisphere patch called BPM Guitar Muta M from Omnipulse. And we converted that and all of the other patches in all these Omnisphere libraries to unify formats that if I wanted to, I could go to Omniverse 2. I could put some other guitars in here, maybe BPM Synth. I could right click and I could say, add this to this. Add it to the mix, which is really fun. I didn't have to open up Omnisphere, it's immediately added. But I'm also using Pump House at the output. Here's without it. So instead of these just ringing out, Pump House is keeping it contained. So while that's going on, 
I'm going to play along. This is using Valhalla Shimmer. Thanks for watching. See you later.